on our way to a place to do some seaweed gathering with Fleur Sullivan. She's a famous chef in New Zealand, you may have heard of her. And we're going to go out in the tender, the little inflatable boat, to collect that. And then we're also going to do some snorkeling amongst the cow. But it's not going to be the ideal time to get it in terms of tide. It's not quite low tide. And also seaweed grows where there's a lot of current. And that's not often the best places to do snorkeling. But we're going to get some, have a look at it. And did you know that all seaweeds in New Zealand are edible? Some might taste a bit better than others, and it's probably in a product that you are using or even eating today. So very exciting, looking forward to it. Got to find some bladder kelp, maybe some Neptune's necklace. Thank you, Betty. You will have some food tonight. If the sea was clear, then you can see this whole big garden under the sea. It grows so fast. I think there's enough for everybody. It's a valuable resource to be used in many, many ways, even just for fun, like with this, this piece of here is a piece of bull cow. You don't usually find it with all those holes in it. And um, I don't think it's eaten by anything. I think it's just probably been battered against the rocks. But it was used always for the titi, to put the titi in. And in the off season, they would make their bags and uh, put their hand inside and open it all up and make it into a bag. At the beach, you can make a flipper for yourself. You split it along there, push your hand in there and put your foot in and put that wee bit up the back and you can make yourself a really good flipper. And with the stipe here, when it's bigger, you can make a cricket ball out of it. Where I love it to use is when you catch a good fish, you, you put your fish inside it with some cockles from the beach and you can feel the fish in there and you can just go by touch that you, you know when the fish is cooked. And when you cut it down there and across there and open it up, the, the kelp is all green inside and you've got your fish all cooked in there with the cockles all around it and you put it down and people just love it. So the sea lettuce is the handiest one for you to start with. Just tide level on the rocks spot out where you are that there's no runoff or anything that would be not healthy and you can pick it and you can just get the sand off it and eat it enjoy it take it home put it in your salad dry it it's actually really nice that I'm eating that the bladder kelp is the fun one it's great on your garden you can dry it and you then deep fry it you can just pan fry it and, and cut it into little pieces and it makes lovely healthy chips. Another good thing with it is you can just, when it's dried, crumple it like that, crumple it. And you just scatter it on the top on your salad or on your meat or anything at all, you'll find lots of ways to use it. Now that we part there, you can pickle. You can pickle it whole or you can pickle it in little slices and then you've always got it in a jar.